How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to Trailmakers, ladies and gentlemen. Today is going to be a very good day, because not only are we checking out some awesome new creations in this game, but we also got to be... Oh, Jesus, I didn't... I forgot I put that there. But we also got Trailmaker's first major update, which is a race world. So we now have three worlds to explore in this game. Obviously, this one is totally race focused. So we got a racetrack, we got an air race, we got a beach in the distance, drag racing. There's more around this map as well. This is truly amazing, and I'm excited to go check this stuff out. So obviously, being that we got a new race focused world, I downloaded a bunch of race cars and whatnot. And we're going to check those out today, have some fun, and check out the first new. New world to explore in Trail Makers. Now, if you guys are curious how to get this, you actually need to get it in experimental mode right now, which you can do in Steam. It should be coming to the main game, though, very, very soon. Let's start off with this racetrack here. We have an awesome little buggy that I found. Uh, so we're going to try this out. I have tried it once before. Hopefully, I can do a bit better than 40 seconds. Let's see how good we can get it. Now, obviously, if you have some friends to play with, you can totally join them on this track and uh, compete against them, but this is just awesome. It's so nice to see how much they're already adding into the game for different things that you guys can do to enjoy yourselves. Uh, and this this track, this is the only one I've checked out so far, is very, very good. Oh, God. Okay. Tis but a scratch. Let's repair that and get on the tarmac here. I love that there's di different uh, terrains on this track as well. We got the very sticky tarmac. We got dirt. We got a little bit of everything here. And it looks like I think this is the ending right here. Did I beat my time? Just a little bit. 39 seconds. Now, I did flip, though. Let's see how good a real lap is. All right. I do like this buggy, so we're going to keep with this. We got a lot of different creations to check out, though, today. So we'll probably use one for every track. Hopefully, we can get through quite a few of those by the end of today. Now, I'm getting the hang of this thing, though. It does like to underspin a little bit. But aside from that, it's just this jump here. That's the dangerous one. Oh, this is going to be a great lap. Oh, no! I just spun it out at the end there. And now I'm really spotting it. Oh my god. I had this. What am I doing? Oh my god. And I still was only at 35 seconds. I gotta beat it now because I know how good that lap was. Oh, oh, oh. I'm hit. I'm going way too fast on that turn because I'm almost breaking my damn crap. Oh, oh. Damn it. Oh, damn it. All right. This lap's looking a little bit better, which is good. As long as I can do the final turn here. Oh, oh. Full throttle. Did I do it? 31 seconds. Okay, so I shaved off about 10 seconds on my time. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, obviously, we could try and get a better vehicle and see if we could beat that. But we got a lot more to check out today, so let's do that. Now, I originally tried with this thing. This is actually a pretty cool craft. It's actually got no engines on it. So it's really just a jet vehicle. And with that in mind, maybe we should go uh, to the drag race. See how fast this thing really is. So it's just got... A bunch of jets on it, and I might build another drag racer to see how good we compete against this. So let's see how this thing works. Start zone's over here, obviously. We're just waiting that. Does it work just like the other race? Yeah, so let's obviously get to the front here and go! Uh, Alright, so yeah, it's just a very big drag race here. This thing, wow, we're almost at 300 already, which is very, very fast. Uh, so I don't know if I'll be able to beat that. 9.44 seconds. Let's give it one more chance here. See if we can beat that. All right. I had a much better start this time, but uh, we'll see if we can shave any seconds off. I think that one was actually, uh, your score was 9680. So I guess that was not as good as my original time because we had 665. So very close to the last time, though. Let's see what we can build here to beat this thing. All right, so what I'm going to go for is the lightest vehicle possible. I think that is uh, the other vehicle's downside is it has a lot of aerodynamics to make it smooth on turns. Obviously, we're building a drag racer right now, so turns don't matter. So as long as we can keep it straight and on the ground, that is really all we need. So I'm going to have a nice long car and uh, have lots and lots of engines on it. All right, almost forgot I need some steering on this, but we should be pretty much done. Obviously, this is a very simple craft right now. It's just made to go very, very fast in a straight line, and hopefully it does that well. I have just a bunch of engines on it, and that's really it. So definitely not rocket science here, but... Uh, Hopefully it goes like a rocket at least. All right, so that should be good. We got steering on the front. Hopefully we don't have to use that too much because it probably absolutely sucks. Let's, uh, oh my god. Okay, I just tapped that and we're already going that fast. Yeah, look at this. This is crazy. 
Okay, I think I definitely think we're gonna beat him. Let's see though. Here we go. Oh my Okay, well, that's the problem. We gotta keep it straight. Okay, so it's all about getting this thing nice and straight and then going for it. So we gotta get this thing. Wow, it actually might not be faster than the jet car. I thought this would be able to do it! The jet car was going 300 though, so I know we definitely didn't beat it yet. Yeah, 10.9. Damn, man, that thing was faster than I thought. All right, I did some revisions to see if I can improve my time. Tried to add some more aerodynamics to this, make it a little bit more smooth. I think it looks pretty damn cool. Let's see how good it is on the straight, though. If I can get it to 10, I'll be very... Damn it. <laughs> well, I guess that one's not gonna work. Oh, God, I didn't save it either. I'm, a, I'm an idiot. All right, got it all set up. This time, hopefully, it goes a little bit better. So here we go. Full throttle right away. I got to see how fast we're going. That's the important part. Oh, we actually, it might be close to, oh, no. I. Oh, we did it. Okay, we did it. And I actually beat the time, too. I believe it was 9.6. So we had 9.1. Little bit of a crash at the end there, but it considered it done. So I'm happy with that. All right, look at that. The fastest jet drag racer in the West. So, uh, yeah, there we go. I built something, guys. Look at me. All right, and uh, I guess we'll move right to the beach next since it's so close to the other one. And uh, clearly we need a hovercraft. So I thought, what is better than a pod racer for a hovercraft? So I thought we'd try out this thing. My God, is this thing beautiful. Check it out. It's got a flag on the back. I like that uh, it actually uses suspension for the quote-unquote ropes. At least then it's got some flims to it, so it probably reacts very similar to a pod racer as well. Now, I have a pretty bad track record with uh, hovercrafts in this game, so bear with me here as we learn how to drive this thing. I gotta say, this feels much better than most already, though. So, we'll start at the start zone here, and... Oh, God, I don't know how to stop. Okay, we're just gonna hopefully not damage it. There we go. Okay, so I'm definitely not gonna rush this here, guys, but... Uh, we're gonna do our best. Oh, this feels like it's a pod racer race as well because of the scenery around it. Oh, this is so amazing. I didn't expect the beach to be cool, but obviously when we're skipping across the water, I mean, how cool is that? Okay, where am I going? Thank God for the arrows. Keep going this way. Oh, I must get into first person with this. So let's see, top of it. There we go. Can't see a damn thing, but uh, that is really, really cool. Okay, let's get back to a good camera. Jesus, and I'm still doing pretty good with this. Look at this. I can actually control a freaking hovercraft in Trail Makers. This is great. Stay on it. There we go. Keep going. It looks like we're going to go around the whole map here. So this would be cool to see some of the other parts of the map. Oh, oh, spoke too soon. Oh, we almost died on that wall there, but uh, we did turn around just in time. Oh, I love the little pylons on the water, too. I don't know how they're floating, but hey, I'm not going to question it. Oh, I knew we'd have to go through this rock. Here we go. Do, can we do a little bit of a jump? Not really, but we hit the end. It looks like this is the final goal. And do a little bit of a jump there. Oh, beautiful. It didn't even destroy itself. This is a great pod racer. We did that in 118. I'm assuming that's actually pretty good because we didn't run into too many issues. But check out how cool this thing is. I want to see if I can actually destroy it here. Eyes on the road. Okay, let's... Oh, Jesus. I kind of want to go up there. Is there something up here? I don't think this is a trail, but it'd be a good jump to try and uh, get up with this thing. There we go. Oh, actually, there's a little... Jesus, trail right here. This thing cannot break. I flip it and nothing happens to it. All right, well, let's check out what this is down here. Oh, broke the uh, pod racer a little bit there. Finally... Uh, this is obviously not part of any racetracks or anything, but even, like, getting around the world, there's racetracks as well. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, is it okay? It's still okay. Still has not broken. Just got to get it up, this little thing. I feel like I need one extra jet on this, but it is a pod racer after all, so it looked weird with three. Okay, let's see. Oh, unfortunately, I was hoping we could ride that wall. It looks like it's a little bit too big of an incline. Oh, uh, where are you taking me, though? So there's just all these tunnels and everything. Obviously, like most worlds in Trail Makers, there's a lot to explore here. I knew it. I knew that was going to kill me. Uh, so maybe we should get a flying craft and kind of look around here. Well, that should be good to fly around. My god, I didn't expect this thing to be so big. It's actually lagging my game. But yes, we have a bird, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely looks like a bald eagle, too. A very fat bald eagle. So let's see... Uh... 
can this thing really fly? It's so bulky. I don't know if it actually will be able to, but let's, uh, let's take to the skies here. I have no idea how to fly this, by the way, so we're, we're just going in with it and seeing what happens. And, oh, God. Oh. I'm so sorry. Okay, this is quite possibly the hardest thing I've ever had to fly. Let's uh, put back the feet, though, so the feet can go back to uh, reduce drag. And we can also flap our wings. So there we, there, oh, God. Oh, the flapping the wings was a bad idea. Okay, lift up, lift up, lift up. That was weird. We just kind of soaked into the ground there. It's so big, it's like lagging the game. What the? What? 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 Oh, my God! I gotta say, it's pretty impressive something of this size can even take off. And I do actually like the way it balances itself. I just wish it was a bit easier to fly, obviously, with such a big body. I don't know why the body's so big. It's just, it's so front heavy. I'm, I'm pulling up as hard as I can right now. And as you can see, I'm just, may, maybe flapping will help. No, nope, that's not helping now. It's too late. <laughs> All right, for some reason, we're over here now. I'm going to give it one more shot. The hard part is getting high enough to actually get enough speed to give upwards lift. So if we get really high, we might stand a chance here, though. So I'm going to try and keep this as stable as possible in the air and give this thing one final chance here. It does like to move, though, as you can see. Oh, my God. Nope, I hit the wrong button. Didn't mean to do that. Keep keep lifting upwards. Fly like an eagle, birdie. And at least now we can see the size of this place. This is actually really, really cool. So let's put our feet back. I think now we actually might be going fast enough where we can flap our wings. Oh, God. Yeah, flapping the wings ruins everything. Okay, come on. Come on. All right, turn, turn the flaps off. Turn up. Okay, it's too late. We're going down. I love that it's so big. It just sucks into the ground before it explodes. All right, this thing looks absolutely adorable. I thought this would help a little bit. Now, as you can see, it can't go forward on the ground, but it has a little feature here where you lift it up and then... Oh. <laughs> okay, it's going to take some practice. Oh, I love this, though. It's, it's, it's like a VTOL jet fighter. It's the weirdest thing ever. Oh, there we go. It wasn't the best takeoff, but... We were able to take off. I feel like these things don't have enough power. Clearly, I'm just not a very good flyer because, yeah, as you can see, I'm just basically almost stalling this whole time. If we can get it high enough, though, I think this thing will actually be pretty good. We just have to get the speed up a little bit so it doesn't fly to the ground the moment I put the nose down. All right, air race is right here. Let's see if we can uh, maybe land this in here. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Ah, oh, man, it's going to be hard to even get a plane inside that to do this. But I really do want to do the air race. So let's uh, let's just move up a little bit. There we go. There we go. And, oh, oh, damn it. All right, well, we're not, we're not going to win any awards with this. But come on. Can I just, can I please? I don't know why my camera was doing that. Okay, I think I pretty much got the hang of it now. I need to hold the button, and then it's much easier to take off. So you can see, you can definitely hover in place. And once you're happy with the height, then you start using the rocket. There we go. See, it's just all about the practice, guys. It's still way too slow, though. I, I need to go higher. This is just such a unique craft. I've never flown something like this before, and it's very finicky. So trying to deal with that is always really fun. But let's go for a little drive here, see if we can maybe do this airplane race. Oh, it's going to take a while, though. Give me, give, give me a few. I think this thing would be perfect with, like, two jets. It does definitely feel underpowered. I'm basically always having my uh, nose up because I'm trying to climb with this little engine here. But it does work. That, that's the important part. It's definitely possible to fly around with this thing. And, my God, once you get the hang of it, it's such a unique feeling. All right, but the more I try it, the better I get. Look, we got a little lighthouse here and everything. Just these worlds are amazing. They add so much. I don't know how they already made a whole new world for this game because there's already so much on the other two worlds now we got a whole other world to explore and it's just fantastic so yeah i think like i said this thing would be perfect with one more engine i actually have to sometimes lift up just to get to the next zone all right we're already at almost three minutes so yes this is not the fastest of crafts again if it had one more engine i think this would be golden but uh still totally doable just a little bit slow yeah i always have to work on trying to lift my craft a little bit. Where's this one? 
Oh, down at the goal. So you know what? Let's actually try something here. I'm going to try and land it on the goal here because we're not going to win any awards anyways. Let's just uh, lift this thing up. There we go. And completed. No, let me do it. Oh, it totally didn't let me control it after that. So that was obviously pretty cool. Let's actually try and land this thing, though. I think I'll be able to land this like a VTOL pretty damn easily. So there we go. Oh, oh, okay. There's a fence there. Hold on. Let's move up a little bit. And yeah, just because you can hold this button and it stays straight up. That's, that's what's so weird and cool about this craft. So if we just kind of nicely let it down here, I can land a damn VTOL. In Trail Makers, look at that! <laughs> yes! All right, and let's check out the one thing we haven't done yet, which is three bridges. Now, I don't know really what this thing is, so let's just get out. Uh, well, let's see, have we done everything in here? We didn't do the Leaf Car, and this thing, actually, the Indy Racer might be good, too. Let's uh, let's try the Indy Racer out, because uh, it looks really, really cool. And I believe this is uh, those underground bridges that we saw. So, this might actually be good. It looks like it's all tarmac, so... Yeah, here we go. Start zone. Oh, man. I probably should have practiced with this thing first. It feels like it's very, very fast. But we got those slick wheels, so we should be okay here. Oh, yeah. The aerodynamics of this thing is great. Makes sense. It's an Indy car. It's, it's all about aerodynamics. So, yeah. This is obviously... Oh, God. I didn't expect dirt. Dirt's going to be hard with an Indy car, especially with these slick wheels. But, yeah. This is just another track. This one looks kind of like a, a cross-country track where you just go throughout the whole map, which is kind of what I wanted. So this is probably my favorite one yet, actually. Just because of the different terrains here. Oh, hey, there's another vehicle I spawned and another vehicle as well. I have vehicles all over this map by now, so... It doesn't lag, though, which is nice. You know, usually with games like this, after a while, when you put too many cars on a map, it lags. There we go, though. 46 seconds, so... Yeah, just another racetrack to enjoy. I, th I thought it'd be like a rock crawling thing or something because of the uh, truck. That's what this this world needs. One good rock crawling map uh, to get up to the top of the mountain. Maybe there is one. I don't know. All right, guys. But that's going to wrap it up for another episode of Trail Makers. So I hope you guys enjoyed checking out the new world to explore. Uh, I think we pretty much hit everything here. There might be a few other tracks we can explore. Obviously, you guys will let me know in the comments below if I do miss anything. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. A very impressive first major update for Trail Makers, and I'm excited to see where they're going in the future. So yes, as always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you <laughs> in the next one.